magnificent, merciful name of Jesus that we do pray. Amen. Hallelujah. We thank God. Amen. Father, God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Thank God for the preach ministry. He and simple not to regret so fast to have us. You know, the preachers and evangelists and ministers. Thank God for you. We're here today. This is our second Sunday in our month of Thanksgiving. We are still on old give thanks. Yeah. Hallelujah. Last Sunday, we looked at uh, Psalm uh, 107. Today, we want to look at our Responsive reading in Psalm 118 still begins with Oh, give thanks. We're talking about the book of Psalm, uh, Israel's corporate worship was laid manifold back before uh, the word. This was their hymn book was set to instruments. Have lamentation, you have praise, you have pleading. And we just give God some praise and glory. We're talking about you ought to be thankful. Yeah. Oh, give thanks. And Psalm 707 dealt with corporate uh, uh, praise. Talked about the redeemed. No, we are talking about a group setting. Look at uh, in Psalm 107, we found the words they, them, they, them, men, children of men. But in today's lesson, Y'all can be seen. Still talking about old new things. We're looking at a more personal life. Starts out the same way, old new things. Goes on in the verse, in the fourth, first four verses, it's like a refrain for it says, His mercy endured forever. His mercy. Endure it forever. His mercy endure it forever. His mercy endure it forever. And it begins more or less as a corporate prayer of praise for it says, Hallelujah. It begins by saying, Let Israel now say. That's corporate. Yeah, 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 yeah. For then it moves down a little bit and begins to. Focus in for it says, let Aaron, the house of Aaron, now say. Y'all remember Aaron, Moses' brother. Y'all remember Aaron, that kept armor bearer, arm lifter up, the one who stood. We remember that was positive points for Aaron. Yet acknowledge that was some shortcoming because when Moses was out of the way, Aaron kind of let the folks have that way. But he focuses in and Aaron and his sons became priests for God. And he says, let the house of Aaron, focus it in a little more said, let the house of Aaron hallelujah, say his mercy and do it forever. Let those he brings it in a little closer. He said, let those that fear the Lord Fear the Lord means have respect. Yeah, the Lord. Old folks have respect for the Lord. Yeah, they have respect for his work. They have respect for what he did. When storms arose, a lot of lightning and lightning, they told you to get somewhere, sit down, be quiet, because God is doing his work. Yeah, have respect for him. Have we're not talking about serving God because we're just plumb scared of him, but we're talking about serving the Lord because we respect him. Yeah. We respect his power. We respect his glory. We understand he is able to do all things but fail. Yes, Therefore, we respect him. Focus in. And then verse 5, it gets real personal. Verse 5, he says, I call on the Lord. And I, and I don't mind admitting that I 
other children uh, uh, killing themselves. We talked about uh, on Facebook, folks are being body shamed. Yeah. They're being bullied. Yeah, that's it. They're being cast down. They are in distress. And the writer said, ah, ah, ah. I don't know what you did. I don't know what your situation is, but I called on the Lord. And, and not only, not only did I call on the Lord, but he answered me. He'll call somebody and they answer me. Sometimes you sit in the same room, call somebody, they don't pay me no attention. You got the eyes of Google on the television, they looking at a book or reading a magazine, they don't pay you no attention. But, but the writer said, I called the Lord and he answered me. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. You said, don't you hear me talking to you, boy? Oh, 
right now. We are man. Yeah. Mortal man. Yeah. Dust man. Now what can man do mm -hmm. unto me? Right, that's right. You want to know how to destroy your enemy? Mm -hmm. 
making your scream. Man, he needs some advice. Get out of here. He gives some advice, some advice, or some advice. The last, the ninth, the uh, eighth, and the ninth verse. He said, "Let me tell you something. It's better to put your trust in the Lord than to put confidence." Hmm. And I want to flip this thing because. Verse, verse 8 says uh, confidence in man. Verse 9 talks about the prison. But I want to flip that thing. It's better to put your trust in the Lord than to put confidence in prison. Prison stands for government. It's better to put your trust in God than in the stimulus check.
do something in them and sweep you out. Because I'm telling you, the hour mind is the devil's much. You can sit around by yourself and, and ain't nothing going on, ain't nobody going, ain't nobody calling you right talking to you, and you can lose your mind. Because the devil will feed you with all kinds of mess. Thank you, Lord God. Oh, I thank you, Lord God. You 